So I've been out, it's been raining, it's about to get dark, so let's get on with it. So today's planting is another Bauhinia, but whereas the previous one was the non-native Bauhinia variegata, this is one of the native Bauhinias. I think it's for Bauhinia um, petersiana. It might be Bauhinia macrantha. Um, I will find out when it flowers. I'm hoping for petersiana, which tends to be a little bit bigger um, and a little bit more tree form. Sometimes they're treated as the same species, but it should be one of the two. Um, uh, it's sometimes called a handkerchief tree because it has a much more delicate uh, crepe paper to me, like flower, than the Bauhinia variegata, which has the very orchid-like flower. I'm putting it quite close to where I planted the Washingtonia, and it does look like it's quite close in, but I'm hoping to chase these trees and a nearby lemon tree up, and eventually create a sort of living trellis over which I can plant sort of fruiting creepers and stuff, uh, once they're all a little bit more mature and a little bit more hardy in themselves. Um, and this should add a nice splash of colour seasonally, and it's also a legume, so it should be enriching the soil uh, as it goes. Around it, I planted a bunch of things which should flower nicely. So the three Kalinkos going in are Kalinko uh, Blosfeldiana, I think it is, which I think is one of the ones that's called a widow's thrill. It's a very standard red flowering Kalinko that you see in a lot of gardens and plant pots. Um, and then I'm also putting in a small aloe, which is a sucker from one I've grown from seed, which I think is an aloe ground dentata, but I haven't actually seen it flower yet, and I'm not entirely sure that I'm not mixing it up with just a really spiky uh, version of maculata. Um, and just in case, as I suspect might happen, which is why I'm only doing it with the sucker, not the original, um, that gets attacked by mold, who often like to go for the sort of low rosetted aloes. I'm also putting in a small aloe cameroni, uh, which should probably flower within the next few weeks as a result of being cut. Um, so yeah, so hopefully that should all take and we'll end up with a nice little living trellis and next year it'll be a uh, plant a creeper a day. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, so yeah, so that should be everything for today and please tune in tomorrow to see if I actually get around to it then. <laughs>